I'll do whatever, but uh, I, I thought Riley did a pretty good job. Riley and Dace did a pretty good job this week at doing or last week at doing it. And, uh, you know, I know Julian could do a good job at it too because he did it last year. So the three guys that they have rotating in and out of there all have done a good job. They proved they could do a good job. So I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's going to change or not. I mean, we'll see today, but you know, they're all proving that they can do it. So you know, whoever's out there is out there, and they're, they're going to do a good job. Does that have any effect on confidence, Brian? I don't think so. Um, I think. I mean, we've all been practicing long enough together. I mean, Riley obviously just started jumping in, uh, you know, started the season a little bit, a little bit in the camp. He was practicing at left guard, so um, I don't think it affects it at all. You know, I mean, we're all experienced guys. You know, I don't think any anyone here is going to make an excuse for uh, continuity. You know, the reason why we're not being able to run the ball efficiently. Um, I think it's just, you know, like, like I've said before, it's you know, it's technique and assignments just getting messed up. I don't think continuity is really it. How have you guys been able to turn things around and win all the close games? It's something that you weren't doing, you know, the first few years you were here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's just, you know, kind of just building off, you know, the losses that we had last year. You know, we lost, you know, close ones last year. I think just every every year and every game you play, you just kind of learn from it. You learn from the tape and you just kind of move on and build on from it. And I think it's just, you know, the, you know, it speaks a lot about the character of this team that, hey, you know, we need to keep pressing and pressing and finally, you know, just win the close games. That's what happens when the got guys on the team that just, you know, continue to press on the issue and, you know, continue to fight through the whole game. What stands out about Wisconsin's front seven? Uh, they're, they're a good front seven. Um, they, they get after the quarterback. Um, a lot like Michigan's D-line, they got after the quarterback. And so, so do these guys. I know Schofield and Watt, the two guys that I'll be seeing this week, are, are good players. Uh, you know, they're fast. You know, they're powerful. Uh, too, I, don't, I don't pay too much attention to the inside guys because, you know, I don't know how much. But, I mean, from what I've seen, you know, they're big, strong guys. And they play the run well, and, you know, they get a, a good push up front on the pass rush. But and the linebackers are fast and active. So, I mean, it, it's a good front. It's a good defense. So Last week you said the same thing. You didn't think it was really a continuity issue mm-hmm. or mechanics. How do you feel the O-line performed on Saturday? Um, you know, I think there were times where there were good things that were going on, and then there were times where, you know, it's kind of look at it like, going on there you know I'm the blame for some of that uh you know I mean I had some moments out there that weren't exactly the best uh, I'll be the first one to tell you that but I mean I think every guy if you ask every any oh I'm gonna start on that game they're gonna say the same thing I think it's just you know kind of just being consistent and just staying you know keep pressing the issue every every down of every drive it's just you know hey we need to be perfect this play and you know, I think you know you're, we're getting better at it, but there's still a lot of room for improvement to go. Do you think missed practice time has affected you guys? Because, you know, you missed three weeks. Uh, uh, Vandy missed a whole camp. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know Cali missed quite a bit of camp. Yeah. Uh, you think that's kind of showing up here? Um, I, I, you know, I think missing practice is always going to hurt you. I mean, I, I mean, anytime you can miss reps and, you know, miss drills, it's going to impact how your technique is. Uh, you know, from a mental standpoint, you know, all three of us, me, Kyle, and Julian, we all know what we're doing mentally out there. I think. You know, you'll see te- breakdown of technique, and that's where you know practice comes into play. Being able to get those reps and you know get a feel for everything. Like, uh, you know, I, I had you know I said to someone yesterday, um, it's not not the fact that mentally I'm, I'm fine mentally that they're comfortable, feeling great. It's just you know technique, getting comfortable back with my technique and being able to you know execute it on the field is the, is the problem right now. And you know that's what you work on practice, and that's what happens when you miss practices, not being able to perfect your technique out there.